Hi guys, I'm Kimber, owner of Water Bear Photography. I specialize in creating unique underwater portraiture and I love helping other photographers do the same. So photographers, if you'd like to learn more, you can connect with me in my Facebook group called Underwater Portraiture with Kimber and I'll put the link below. But today I wanted to talk about a very common problem that I hear photographers have and that is, what if my client can't swim? So that's something I really wanted to dig into today because we have worked with everyone from people who cannot swim, so spoiler alert, yes, all the way up to Olympic swimmers. And we like to think that we can get phenomenal images no matter the swimming ability. However, there are some really special considerations that you want to think about before you would say yes to a client. So when I talk to a client on the phone, because you should always talk to people and not just rely on email. I always ask them about their swimming ability. I ask them to describe their comfort level in the water, their experience with the water, any water sports that they've participated in. And if they tell me, hey, oh, I'm just not the greatest swimmer, I'm not super confident, or I can't even swim at all, then I wanna proceed from there. And I, I found that through trial and error, the best question to ask them is, can you remain calm? If you can be calm in the water, if you can dig deep mentally and you can relax even if you feel uncomfortable, we can get great images. And then what I do is I reassure them and I tell them about the safety protocols that we're going to put in place to keep them super safe during their session. Now obviously there is always going to be an element of risk involved and that is why it's our job as photographers to do every single thing we can to mitigate those risks. So for example, we always have a safety swimmer. You've heard me talk about this, upright, left and down, every single shoot. And I prep my safety swimmer before every shoot with my client's ability and give them a heads up so that they know that they should take certain other precautions as in remaining within one arm's length, within touching distance at all times. I would rather Photoshop out my assistant than, than be too far to help. Some of the other considerations that we do as you can guess, we shoot in shallow water. The best images are really only an inch deep. And so when I tell clients that, they breathe the sigh of relief. They don't need to be 10 feet deep. The light is gonna be the most beautiful. Our reflections are gonna be the most beautiful one inch under the surface. So that being said, we've done plenty of successful shoots in under four feet of water. So it can be done. Next, we're gonna fake it. So if my clients want that look of being in deep water but they're not swimmers, I'm not gonna put them in deep water. It's no photo is going to be worth risking somebody. So we're gonna fake it by using dark colored backdrops. In a lot of my images, you will see us use these dark black backdrops, dark gray, other you know deeper colors. And what it does is it distorts your sense of depth. So I can have my client in very shallow water and then I can photograph their skirt or their dress separately and then I can combine them in Photoshop and I can create an image that makes the illusion of them being deep without their toes ever having left the ground. Some of the other things I will do for clients who aren't strong swimmers, who are not confident in the water, is we will go to pools that have stairs. So my pool has a set of stairs and it has a shelf that is absolutely wonderful for helping people get comfortable in the water. And just by laying down, feeling that surface, feeling connected to the ground, I find that that helps people breathe, slow down, they can, they feel more calm and centered. And then what do we do? We just edit it out. So there are so many ways that you can take great images of clients in the shallow end of a pool. You do not need to go deep. You need not need to risk them, but as long as they can stay calm and truly if, if they can, if they're, if the water is just too much of an anxiety inducer, then I would really encourage them to book a different type of session because this should be a fun experience and not a stressful one. So after you describe the safety precautions you're going to take, if they still seem edgy, maybe suggest something different. But if they are relieved and excited and gung-ho about it, then move forward, just do it safely. Anyway, I hope this was really helpful and I hope that this gave you some ideas to think about when you get those clients who aren't sure or confident in their swimming capabilities. Thanks so much for tuning in.